How's it going guys? Me Ducky and welcome to another Project Spark tutorial thingy. So today I'm going to show you how to um, make a kind of 3D teleport kind of thing uh, which you may have seen in my previous video I, but um, yeah I actually haven't seen anyone else make something like this or on, put it on YouTube at least so yeah um, it's, it's pretty awesome, like you can um, go flying around and stuff and go up and go down and do all of that. So yeah, let's get to the technical bit and I'll show you how you do this. Let's go. Okay, so let's just go into the brain. Let's get on the right page. Okay, so start off with um oh yeah, so this is based upon the use the stamina thing that I made last time in my previous episode showing sprint. I'll put a link here. So go check that out if you want to see how this is done. Uh if not you can ignore all the things relating to stamina, but um yeah, anyway. So let's start off with when B and stamina greater than zero. Uh, visible equals false, uh, gravity equals zero, and attachments uh, power on. So I'll do a bit afterwards, so what attachments kind of I use to make the effects and all that. But anyway, so when started to, play effects and then choose what effect you want at socket center. Stamina decrement by 1.5, pace equals 1.5. When not B, when stamina less than 100, stamina increment by 0.25. And when pace equals 1, B released or stamina less than or equal to 0, visibility equals true. Gravity factor equals 1, attachment to power off, play effects, and then the same one you did before at socket center. Uh, pace equals 1. And yeah, sorry, it's actually relatively easy to do. Uh, yeah, pause the video to see all of that bit, but yeah, there you go. So now I will uh, cut to showing you the attachments and how to get like the effect of uh, like the kind of dark mist thing coming out while you're moving in the teleport mode. Okay, so if you go onto your uh, character studio and then attachments and then uh, that's the one I'm currently using. Uh, you can see it there, but um, what you want to do is go on to you know, add new because you have one. Then go up onto the second drop down thing, which is effects, and then you want to choose an effect which is an aura because they're the ones that kind of um, last, or last, and um, just like loop kind of, or anything with like loop or. Um, yeah, basically anything that will loop um, to get the effect of it, like, to continue rather than just be one kind of poof. If that made any sense, I don't know if it did or not. But anyway, um, for this video, I will use uh, the Magic Aura one, which I think is the one I originally used. Sorry, I'm, I'm not too sure. But this is one that looks quite good. And then you want to put it on uh, backside and then see you got it there okay now you need to go into edit for that bit and then appearance and then you can like change all the colors and all that which is pretty cool like uh, let's just kind of change it to red yeah see you can kind of see the effects of it pretty obviously uh, and you can just play around with that for a bit so also you can change the opacity of each bit so if you didn't want the mist to be so thick and kind of yeah you could uh, press left or right on the d-pad if you're using uh, Xbox or I I don't know what it would be for PC presume like drag it drag the slider or something but yeah it's pretty easy okay so once you have done that you need to go into the brain menu for the effect and then go down to power and make sure it is power off. This means that it won't be playing all the time, it will only play once you've pressed 
uh, be on your controller or whatever you've assigned it uh, the power thing to so there you guys go that's pretty much it um, it's it's not that complicated really but it, it I think it looks pretty awesome and it, it can probably make quite a lot of interesting gameplay features in your game if you use this um, like because you can do the whole flying up thing combining it with both the sprint ability um, and using this to go like forwards and up and gliding around and stuff so yeah that's pretty much it guys I hope you enjoyed See you next time for more. Have a fantastic day. Ducky out.